Maintaining topside defensive positioning is the hallmark of good one-on-one -on -one defense and should be used the large majority of the time, less perhaps an ISO situation where a defender is all alone on one side of the floor, which is a rarity. The on-ball shadowing drill is a great way of teaching a closed stance and top shoulder landmarking to beginners, after first having taught them defensive balance and footwork, as well as the habit of keeping their stick up. Before getting into this drill, coaches should first demonstrate what a closed stance looks like on ball, that being hips facing the sideboards with the defender in line with the offensive player's top shoulder. From there, arrange two parallel pylons at the crease and shooter positions respectively in one or both ends of the floor depending on numbers. One offensive player should start outside of but between the pylons with the ball, with one defender stationed between the pylons ready to shadow the movements of the offender while maintaining topside positioning. Pairings should be ready to go on both sides of the floor at the start of the drill. Otherwise, when a player has finished their offense, they can go and play defense against the opposite handed players on the other side of the floor, which works best when there are less numbers than what is shown in this video. In variation one, defensive players can advance from starting with their stick upside down, which is variation 1A and not shown in this video, to holding their stick normally, which is variation 1B, while doing their best to stay in line with the offensive player's top shoulder. On the coach's first whistle, the offensive player does their best to get the defender off balance using various footwork patterns or dodges while also staying between but also outside of the pylons. After approximately 5 seconds of shadowing, the coach blows a second whistle to signal that the offensive players are now allowed to take the ball to the net one on one. Another option is to simply allow the offensive player to run to the net for a shot with the defender bowing out of the drill, which is usually best for beginners. Nice, great job, keep your stick up, yeah, keep your stick up. Nice. Go for a shot. Oh, nice try. To get the most reps in the shortest amount of time, alternate between sides with one side shadowing on the first whistle and the other side starting on the second whistle. In effect, offensive players in the drill will have roughly 5 seconds to try to get a shot off and 10 seconds of total time in the drill before exiting on the coach's third whistle. After playing offense, players are then next up on defense, eventually exiting the drill after their defensive one-on-one. -on -one. The most common error for the offensive player is settling for shots on the wrong side during the one on one. The most common error in the drill for defenders is overchecking on a move underneath once the whistle is blown, opening up the top side for the offender. A more advanced form of this variation, not shown here, would be after the second whistle, the offensive player getting 5 seconds to get either a screen or seam shot off still having to stay between the pylons, which is variation 1C. The defender runs continuously back and forth, being sure to keep their stick up and to stand in the shooting lanes, which is another aspect of good one-on-one -on -one defense. Generally speaking, all variations of this shadowing drill could also be done the same way between the mid boards and the point position, which is variation number two. Variation 3 is the player obstacle variation, not shown here, which is the same as all of the other variations, except after playing defense, players remain between the pylons, acting as an obstacle for the new player on defense to evade while continuing to shadow the ball carrier. The player obstacle can remain stationary or move around between the pylons to mix things up, with the defensive slash offensive players shadowing for 10 seconds instead of 5 seconds in this variation. In a game, defenders need to be able to maintain topside position while also evading picks and seals as well as any other obstacle that might get in their way, including their own teammates. Another challenge coaches could present would be to position the pylons closer together, which is variation 4, at just the crease, shown in the top of this diagram, or just the shooter, shown in the bottom. 
and offensive players can try to beat the defender inside of the pylons, either underneath or over top. The same could also be done at just the midboard to shooter area or just the shooter to point area, which effectively makes players have to play on ball defense in all of the major areas of the defensive zone. <laughs> 